Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal division, specifically how we can understand how it's regular to whole number division, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So I've got two different problems here that I want to do side by side, and I want to show you that they're very similar. The only difference here is really the decimal point. And I've represented it both as a long division and as a fraction, because you can always represent a division problem as a fraction, and it's just not been completed, right? So our dividend is going to be our numerator, our divisor is going to be our denominator. So let's estimate these first. So if I were just to estimate really roughly to the largest value, right? So I could say that 17, 15, it goes to, if it rounded the thousands place, you know, 2,000. 35 rounds up to 40. 17, 15, if I rounded the, probably the, uh, the ones place, or I could go to the, the tens place, right? We could say that's 20, and then that 35 is still going to round up to 40. So you notice the difference already in our numerators. The only difference we have here is that my 2,000 has got two extra zeros than my 20. So if I were to simplify these, right, this is going to be a whole number. And if I just kind of drop a zero off of both, which we could do, how many times does 4 go into 200? Well, 4 goes into 25 times. So 4 will go into 200 50 times. So 20 over 40, this can be the same as 1 half. So they don't necessarily look the same. But if I know what the decimal for 1 half is, 1 half is 0 0.5. And what's the difference between... 50 and 0 0.5, well, the difference between 50 and 0 0.5 is simply two decimal places. And what do we see here in this quotient right here, or this dividend, excuse me? We've got two digits behind the decimal, and that's the only difference. And so what's the difference between dividing whole numbers and dividing decimals? Well, as long as you have no decimals in the divisor. If you had a 3.5, you would want to multiply both the divisor and the dividend by 10 to get that decimal out of the divisor. But as long as the decimal is just in your dividend, all you do is you just move the decimal up to that same exact location on the, on the bar, and then you just pretend like it doesn't exist. And I'll show you how it works on both sides. So let's divide. 35 goes into 170. Okay, so I'm just going to need to go by 35s. That's going to be 70. That's going to be 105. That's going to be 140. And then 175 is a little bit too big. Okay, so I'm going to be able to go 35 goes into 171 four times. This 35, I'm going to treat this like 171. I'm going to ignore the decimal for right now. Is going to be four times. We've already moved the decimal up onto the quotient bar, and we don't need to mess with it anymore. We could pretend it's 1,175. So let's multiply. We've got the 35 times 4. We've already done that. It's right there, 140. So we are going to just subtract from both. Right, That's going to be 31. Let's bring down the 5. And that is going to be the same thing here. We are ignoring that decimal because we've already taken care of it. It's already up there. I could put a zero here since we know we're going to need a zero there. And look, at this point, I'm dealing with the exact same problem. How many times 35 go into 315? Well, 35 times 10 is going to be 350. That's really close. So I'm going to guess it's going to be 35 times 9. And let's see, that's going to be 45. That's 27. Add the four more, 28, 29, 30, 31. So there we go. So we could say that 35 is going to go into 315 nine times. And at this point, we have no remainder, so it's going to go in evenly. And what is the difference? Well, the difference is, take a look at my answers. Pretty clear here. 0 0.49 and just plain old 49. The difference is 2 decimal places. But where do those decimal places came from? Well, remember, we started this number with two, des two digits behind the decimal, so we're going to end with uh, two more digits behind the decimal than we would. Over here, we had no digits behind the decimal, so we're not going to start with any digits behind the decimal over there. 